Hey everybody, this is Irlad, and in a few minutes I'm going to be, well, more like a few seconds, I'm going to be streaming some Star Maid. And I just realized all my metadata in the stream is incorrect. <laughs> Let me go see if I can fix that real quick. One of the things I dislike about the, uh, the Twitch Premiere system when you launch a new video is the way that it deals with your metadata. It kind of gets everything kind of gets everything mixed up some unpleasant ways. Let me let me put up my BRB screen here for a second. So I'm definitely not streaming Novus and Chepsio, I'm streaming Star Maid. Alright, maybe that'll work. Um, right, so uh, so we're streaming some Star Maid. Uh, I'm working on my asteroid drill again. Yeah. Uh, let's fill this other window. Speed up my computer a little bit. Alright, um, yeah, so last stream, which was just a couple nights ago actually, uh, we kind of reworked these docking racks here for cargo crates and redesigned these other modular docking racks and now um, now I'm just kind of working on filling in some of the, the structure on the main body of the ship I apologize for the low frame rate I've been having just a few issues with star made lately think it'll kind of catch up here in a bit. If not, I may kill face rig and see if that helps things a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so the last thing that I did on the last stream was kind of add in these braces here. And actually after I quit streaming, I went ahead and just brought those, well, the two middle ones down into the inside. Boy, that frame rate is quite bad, isn't it? I'm not even sure I'm getting as many FPS as the in-game counter says I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to kill face rig. Wow, okay, that makes a significant difference. Alright, well, I may, I may just have to get used to running Star Maid without it then. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, yeah, so... Today, tonight, I need to uh, I need to continue working on the structure of the ship. Um, I've got some airlock systems that I need to get in right about here and here, and then I need to I can kind of box in the uh, the industrial section here. This is cargo and and uh, ore processing. This is a mining ship. Um, and I may even start kind of closing in the engine room a little bit like this from about this. Well, really, let me think. 
Yeah, somewhere around here is going to be the outer hull of the ship. So, like, I guess in a way I've kind of already got a little bit put in. But I can definitely expand on that some. So, I'm going to start, though, with the, with the airlock system over here. Uh, this I'm going to start out in kind of a standard USD, but I may kind of... I don't know, kind of expand it a little bit and do something a little unusual with it, perhaps. But, anyway, we're going to start... Uh, for for those of you who may be new to the game, USD is Universal Docker. Uh, it's just really it's a player, kind of a player um, community agreed upon thing. It's nothing specific to the actual game, and you can kind of do whatever you want to with it, really. But, but yeah, let's see. I've had some friends express interest in getting back into Star Maid, and uh, don't know when or if they're going to drop in. And they're a little bit, some of them are a little bit rusty, and some of them are brand new to the game, or pretty much brand new. So I may cover a few basics tonight that more experienced players will already be familiar with. If I think about it. <laughs> All right, um, so so docking systems, of course, have two parts to them. There's the the rail that receives the dock. Did I just do that backward? No, that should be right. Um, and then there's the rail that actually does the docking. So what you have is a mothership kind of situation uh, with a with a secondary ship dock to it. If this is going to be the mothership, then the secondary ship will dock to this. If it's going to be the secondary ship, then it will dock the other to the mothership with this, right? So, um, yeah, that's kind of how that works. Uh, it's customary to stick a public permission module right here so that other people can freely dock to you. I'm not going to do that in this case because this is going to be a utility dock only. It means only only my own ship should be able to actually make use of it. Actually, you know what? I think I need to bring this out a bit more. So I'm not going to put the, the rails in right there. Put up a plane of symmetry here to kind of make it a little easier to build this in. like that all right take off my symmetry put in put the rail system sticking out a little bit further from the hull of the ship than it was before give myself a little bit more space here let's see kind of mark this out as a utility dock just for my own purposes. I'm going to surround it with a little bit of this green and white hazard stripe. I try to use this stuff and every time I use it I end up hating it. I, I hate it. I really do. I don't know what it is about it. I just despise the green and white stuff. Um... <laughs> I really make an effort with it though. Let's see, I'm actually normally you kinda do this, but I'm gonna leave that open actually, so yeah. Alright. Let's see, let me go ahead and leave that symmetry in actually. Uh the reason why I think maybe for once I'll be able to kind of make myself live with it. Actually, I don't want, I don't want to slope there. I want, I want to just get old fashioned, square it off. Um, what was I saying? Is because I'm actually going to kind of block some of the view of it. Using these slabs. Just 
maybe it'll be a little bit less conspicuous from any angle except like straight on. Oops. Oops. It'd be nice if I rotated them properly. Switch the wedges back over to blocks. Eh. <laughs> it'll have to do. It'll it'll just it'll have to do. What if I did? Or what did I just do? Idiot. Alright, uh, what if I did something more like this? Make it even thinner. Or even harder to see. I'm actually liking it slightly better now. <laughs> Alright. Is that a little better? I feel like this is something I could kind of live with. I don't like the way that these are actually handled by the slabs. But... Hmm. I'm going to rip that out. I hate it. I, I hate green and white hazard. I wanted something different on this surface, on this dock, since it's like a utility dock. But I, I can't. I can't. I just don't like it. My right, gosh. Let's see. Let me get the screen in. Actually, let me not. Got to take this out without removing that. Yeah, that means I can get rid of these slabs, because they were just bulking it up unnecessarily. Alright. Mirren, uh, I figured out, Mirren, that uh, that face rig was actually responsible for killing my my frames. It was it was actually kind of unplayable. I'm normally not super picky about frames, but this is really bad. So I, I had to kill face rig. I think I can still use it with some games, but Star Maid's pretty demanding. So here we are. Red, black, or red, white, what, hazard stripes? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. A red and white would be pretty cool. Red and black, yeah, yeah, that'd be really awesome, actually. Yeah, I hated having to lose it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, for real, I am not a 60 FPS snob, right? I'm quite happy at 30. I only record at 60 because I know some people are bothered by, by 30. And I can play at 20 or 25. And that's what the in-game counter said I was getting, and I don't believe it. It was lying to me. I was getting like 10. So, yeah. Did I do those backward? It keeps bothering me. I keep thinking I've done them backward. Let me actually spawn in one of my other ships. Let's see. This is the... I'm going to admin load... The ship that I'm remaking, like redesigning. There it is. It'll take it a bit though. Hmm. 
This will give you kind of a view. If you're not familiar with this ship, it'll give you kind of a look at what I'm uh, what I'm after. Yeah, I did that right. Okay, cool. Thought I did. Yeah. So the the two little utility docks I'm putting in uh, would go right here and basically like right here. Well, um, yes, I have. I have logged into that. I'm not going to say it on stream because I don't know if, uh, I don't know how, how advanced the plans are really. If you get what I'm saying. All right. So How do I want to integrate this into the rest of the ship, I guess, is the question. I wanted something a little bit bigger and more substantial than usual because both of these USDs are actually coming up out of a brace, like a big structural thing. So actually, let me put in this. I don't know if it matters. I'm not saying, but you know, I just like playing things a little close to my chest sometimes. Responding to some chat here. If you're uh, if you're watching the video later and you can't see the messages, like I really and truly don't know if it matters at all. So, let's just lock these in because I'm going to be using them a bit here. This. It's going to start kind of working its way up this way. Oh, I did not mean to do that with symmetry on. Alright, well, let's try that again. Let's see. This, I think, I think this is where this needs to start going asymmetric. Oh, and that's wrong. <laughs> I've got something in mind here, but I keep, I'm not really setting it up right, so... I think basically what I want we'll just start it from up here 
Oh, these are wrong. Both these are wrong. They don't go there. How does this work? It's been a while since I've done what I'm trying to do. I think I botched that last one. Or maybe more than one. It's a bit more like it. All right, so what I want is a brace that's diagonal on two axes coming down. These are always a little fun to build, but not too hard. Not too hard. They just provide for a little bit of entertainment. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. remember when I started this game, advanced build mode was just like, uh, I was like in different language and I was like, well, I don't really need advanced build mode. I'm just, I'm just starting. And then I couldn't figure out why nothing ever lined up right. Like wedges were always in the wrong direction and stuff like that. So when I finally learned to actually use advanced build mode, it was like, oh my gosh, what was I missing this whole time? <laughs> All right. Well, that's small. Hmm. All right. It's too small. It doesn't match the other braces and I really wanted it to and I'm now going to see if I can wrap my head around something entirely different. Actually, let me, uh... Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can do something I've never actually done before here. That's obviously wrong. Hmm. This is a this is a different slope, isn't it? It's interesting. Is it possible to get a flat face sloping back at 45 degree angle. Hmm. probably going to give me a headache.
Let me, let me try it one more time with this and see what happens. But that, no, it's not going to work. I know it's not going to work. I don't have to try anything. I don't know if the geometry in the game is actually going to support me doing what I want to do here. This averages to 45 degrees. I don't think I can get a flat face there. Hmm. What, did I put down... No, there's the corners. Okay, alright. I just didn't have them oriented the way I thought I did. Alright, so... Yeah. Oh, geometry, geometry. Why can't you be easy? Also, I don't like this song. <laughs> Boom. Let's try something different. Yep, can't do it. Okay, well, now I know. I'm just going to have to go for for the skinnier brace here. That's all there is to it. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Man, I hate that it's so... Mm. So skinny. Too skinny. Right, what happens if I bring these into it after all? That happens. Disaster. Right on. Cool. Good to know.
and forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. All right, well, this gives me a more substantial brace. It's not the shape that I wanted, but it's okay. It's actually fine. I'm actually pretty happy with it, to be honest. Yeah, that'll do. That's solid. I like it. Alright, I'm keeping that. So now I gotta figure out how to duplicate it over here. <laughs> because copy paste won't work. I really need it in mirror mode. Yeah, I'll figure it out. This song doesn't annoy me for the way it sounds. It annoys me for the... I don't know, I guess the ignorance or the, the naivete of its message. I don't know if y'all are listening to the lyrics. I can't really filter stuff like that. I have to hear it. Dude's saying that if we just had an alien threat from outside the world, outside this world, that all our political differences would vanish. He has obviously never paid attention to politics. I, think I, I, don't, I don't think you have to look any farther than current debate on illegal immigrants to understand how stupid that, that statement is. That we would just all unite. Sorry, I don't do political videos or political streams, and I'm not passing judgment on anything here except the lyrics, which is dumb. Right. Let's see this. Of this. Right there. Now over here, I went with wedges. Yep, and then finish those off. corners. Correct? Looks right to me. Alright, cool. So I have those corners kind of integrated into the ship structure now. It's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, so now I just need to kind of work all this down into the shape that I was putting around the, the airlocks docking ports, whatever. Yeah, let's see. We can do part of this at least with symmetry on. Okay, yeah, I think that works. Alright, so... Got a pretty well copy... All the structure... And over here. Yeah, okay.
Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that's how it did it. Yeah, Alex, right. All right, cool. Um, then I just got to start sloping all this up. Oh, it works. That works. That's pretty neat. I like it. I think I'll keep it. Move maybe just one little change. Let's see, not right there though, because it's where symmetry is. One little change right about. Okay with it down there, but not up on top. All right, um, it's time to switch to hull. Let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and have armor on the toolbar. I'm not going to completely enclose this yet because I need to be able to get at it for you know, systems and whatever. I just kind of want to frame in. Make sure I have a feel for how this is all going to join together. See, there's a problem. So how am I going to deal with that? I'd like to know. I really would like to know. I'm just kind of feeling this out. This is not how this is likely to stay. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Well, then again, the ceiling of the actual cockpit is right on this level. So... Huh. That opens up some possibilities, maybe. 
So let me come over here, grab my corners. like that is that how that fits together yeah pretty much oh would you look at that oh jeez I lad you're such an idiot sometimes <laughs> okay let me just go ahead and put all that back in so at least I don't have to do it an extra, extra time. Oh, whoops. Something's bad wrong there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just had that on the wrong rotation. No surprise. Like I said, this kind of boggles my mind a little bit to do this. Oh, nuts. I'm still wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I got this. This is where... Her wedges are gonna go. That wedge, I think. Oh, not even close. There we go. Alright, so the entire brace is built. this cross. Later on I'm going to replace this line with armor. Alright, um, that actually give this some, some sort of ceiling. Bring these in. Actually, even kill the wedges. Don't need them. Didn't I just remove the wedges? Come on. Out. Out. Oops. 
<laughs> no, that's not where I wanted it to meet up. Oh, jeez. Alright, um... Oh, what just happened? That was not what I wanted. This is what I want. All right. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is not how this is supposed to work. Um, okay. <laughs> nah, I'm getting rid of everything I just put in, for sure. Uh-oh. Did I just click the wrong place? Alright, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Well, I said I wasn't going to enclose this, and yet here we are. Um, okay, so... There's that. Now I need more something. Like, I don't want this to stick up that way, right under here. So i got to figure out what I want to do with that. So if I do, uh, I can't do that. I hate it. Um, These braces might have been a terrible idea, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Oh, corners I want corners I want touches. There we go. But if I do that. I can actually get a whole other angle in here, which is always pretty fun visually. 
especially in a game that's based on blocks. Oh, but I can't cap that off. But really, that's okay. All right. Um, I think, I think I'm working my way toward a solution that I can kind of live with here. Actually, here's a crazy idea. What if I actually just left this texture just like this? that get rotated and then we kind of keep it up by doing something a little bit more like this It's different. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but it's different. some value in, in doing something you've never seen someone do before. And I've definitely never ever seen this before. Not that I already recall anyway. Yeah, I like that that kind of runs more or less smoothly over there, all right? So let's just grab a few more. Five, six, or six, seven, eight. And this, this can be ripped out now. So I don't need any of this here. Three.
Oops. All right, that gives it a, a definite kind of something. I don't know what it gives it, to be honest with you. The mark of a madman, maybe. My main objection is the fact that it's not going to be continued on this side. Uh, but I think it's going to be okay. It's definitely a good way of, of trying to bridge up under there. Um, let's see. And I think it e even is going to work under these braces because I think what we have... that I'll plop some symmetry in right there yeah yeah see that that doesn't mess with the shape of those at all I think it's how I'm gonna go because kind of I kind of like the texture if I end up changing my mind and deciding I hate it I'll just fill it in and smooth it out but I don't want it to look like super smooth either, you know. This is an industrial ship. Uh, rough places should be expected. This is not so much rough like industrial, but I don't know, it gives it kind of a geodesic dome kind of quality to me. And I like that very much. Like the more I look at it, the better I feel about it. So there we are. We're going to go with that. Um, just got to continue the pattern down this side a bit. Something like that. I don't know. Um... say that I think this is actually going to turn out better than I was kind of afraid it would. I like it. <laughs> ah, it's such a relief that I actually, actually like what I ended up doing with this. Got a just gonna fill in a bit under here. Right, okay. Oh, that's not how that's supposed to go though. I'm supposed to be wrapping around under it. 
is kind of dumb actually. Alright, so where does that start? I think this is the point that I'm supposed to actually be starting this. Oh, oh, oh. There. I don't know if that's going to fit there, though. Better actually finish the underside of this brace before I really screw something up. Where did I put the wedges on the other side? I can't even remember. Actually, I don't need these at all, so I'm going to get rid of that. Alright. Blast it. I hate when the rotation resets randomly. Slabs used to be really bad about it. But lately, I've been noticing it a lot with... Uh, the different slope pieces also. And of course I was doing that with the wrong material. I am good. I am so good. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Just as a marker, we'll put that right there for now. Oops. Try 
sure that it's not right though. Get the last row. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that was actually one over from where I needed to be with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I came out too far. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Dang. I don't know how I managed that, but whatever. Wait, what? Okay, there's this, and then there's two flats... What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? I think it's right. Okay, I don't know. I'm confusing myself, but there's nothing new about that. This is still wrong. I am still doing something wrong. Alright, you know what? Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Okay, we are going to drop a line of symmetry, or a plane of symmetry right here. Yeah. And I'm going to rip these out. And immediately put them right back in. see where we are see yeah I messed something up big time all right There's a third row popping in right down here. I'll bring you back. 
Still wrong. What the heck? How did I screw this up this much? Like, seriously. Alright, rip these out. Right back in. See where they show up over here. Okay, alright. I think I have the gist of it now, finally. Basically, everything needs to be based on that row I just put in. It's been too long. Too many hearts. Yeah, okay. I got this. I can do this, guys. This is within the very limited scope of my abilities. Switch songs. I don't think I can take that one. There we go. I'm not incredibly picky about songs. You may have noticed, but um, I have my limits. All right, cool. All right. We're about to be in business with this. Heck yeah. I really like that texture. Uh, Limbless Wonder, is this a ship or a station? This is a ship. This is a... Uh, it's going to be a mining vessel. It's a rebuild of this one which was finished under old power and so many systems are going to completely change that I'm just I started from scratch but this is eventually going to be more or less the shape of the new one the new one's going to be a bit bigger and it's going to have a little bit different styling here and there but yeah that's that's what we're working on right there And it's coming along a lot faster than the original. I'm, I'm very pleased to say. Because I already know like a lot of the decisions that I'm going to make. Very helpful. Alright. Matt Exile is now following. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Yep, okay, cool. Ah, the soothing voice of the Red Panda. <laughs> Soothing people right to sleep, probably. Oh. <laughs> Soothing is one that I don't, I, I'm not sure I've been...
called before. <laughs> I'll take it though. figure out what to do about the, the ceiling a little bit later yeah this is coming along not too bad put in that one in everyone's seen this game before Matt this is star made it's um I mean you know you see it I'm building stuff with blocks only in this case instead of building castles or whatever Minecraft style I'm building spaceships a spaceship in this case but yeah Worth checking out. I know you enjoyed Minecraft back in the day. I think you'd like this too. Uh, do you get to fly them? Yep. Yep, you sure do. Fly them, shoot up other stuff with them. This is a mining vessel, so it's going to be tearing down asteroids for raw materials. Got a lot of interior work to do. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I guess I can go ahead. Yep, let's just go ahead and um, wall up the sides here. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, shipbuilding has uh, has definitely changed a lot, hasn't it? I'm uh, I'm very excited by by most of the changes that have been made, and that gives me hope that the the next few major updates are also going to be amazing. probably shouldn't do this, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a cross brace. Just a single one that runs front to back. I don't know if it's the right call, but here we go.
And I think I'm going to go ahead and slope it in. Is that... Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Just momentarily confused. Come back and smooth that out in a bit. There we are. Yeah, I feel like that was probably the right call. Let's see what where this actually opens into. Alright, it's above the cargo hold. Which means I don't need to worry about making that brace visible in here. That's a good thing, actually. Um, let's see, I think I do actually want to... Just do like a couple of running lights. Let's see, this is starboard, starboard, so it'd be a green light. Go. Of course, most of the time, under normal circumstances, these would be covering that up anyway. But uh, I'm making it. Uh, I'm making those docked entities so they could actually be removed. And there might be a case where this would be easily visible. I don't know. See. Would be nice though to have a, uh, have a running light on the port side also somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If I line it up the same, it's going to be right there. Is that visible from inside? No, it's not. All right, cool. And this pops in at the same place. Not super visible, but I like it. I'll keep it. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, what, what was the other thing I said I was going to be working on? Um, I said I was going to work down here. I don't know. Maybe not. I said I was going to work on framing in the engine room a bit. That I think I can do. Um, of course, this deserves some serious armor. I don't mind this song, but right now, I don't know, it's just grating. Nope. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, it'll be much better. Hmm. 
Actually, now that I'm really looking at it, like really looking at it, I'm not going to be able to do much with this because I haven't haven't enclosed so much of the surrounding area. I don't know what this is going to be coming down to meet, you know? It's kind of like trying to do a roof on a house when you don't even know where all the walls are going to be. So that's problematic. Hmm. And see, I had a work area down here to access these modular docks. A little ramp coming down into the main storage and cargo and transfer and whatnot. The engineering corridor I can actually look down into those. It's pretty neat. Trying to figure out how this is going to be enclosed. Oops. A little bit cramped doorway, but it's it's plenty high enough to serve. So that's not an issue. I might end up being able to raise it a little bit, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I know I can. Alright. That's a standard height doorway, but it doesn't infringe on that corridor any. That's cool. Get rid of some of that. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I like that, alright. This access corridor is really just to get down to the lower parts of the engineering section. Actually, why... Tell me I didn't break my power system. There's supposed to be that power tube running through here. My power system broke? Uh, come on. Oh, there's 
there's nothing in there. Power. Energy, uh, the recharge looks right. Move. No thrust. Oh well, I have no thrusters, so that makes sense, actually. Uh, Okay, I guess the power system works. I don't know why the power tube is not showing. It's weird. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to look through here and see the energy flow. It's supposed to be pretty cool. Actually, now that... Um, since I have a few seconds where, or a few minutes or an hour, <laughs> where you can't see the, the power stream, there's one thing I wanted to do with that. Let's see, I don't know if red's the color though. We'll do it in orange. Maybe. Maybe do it in orange? We'll do it there. Oh, now it replaces the orange. I don't know what's going on in this game. Sometimes. In any case, now there will actually be light coming out of that, which is a good thing. Alright, so... Yeah, I thought so. Alright, so I'm using slabs here where really I need, um, need full size blocks. Too far. I don't know, it's simplistic and kind of lazy, but <laughs> I just go that way to kind of enclose this. I don't really know what else I would do with that little corner. I'd probably end up even just blocking it off inside. I don't know.
the logic to control these docking racks is going to be kind of a pain just because I don't really have a good place to put it. It's probably going to end up going like right about here and connecting through wireless modules so that I don't have to, uh, I don't have to see the pipes anywhere. Uh, so there's that. And if that's the case, then probably that means I can just go ahead and put a roof over this whole area here. Drop in some symmetry. Uh, wrong. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah, that's right, this is what I'm doing. Continuing that same pattern that I established over on the other side of the ship. May regret everything later, but that'll be later. All right, now. I wonder what would happen on this part if I did something like that that would be stupid um, but what if I did something like that nope <laughs> nope nope well, let me try it this way nope still ate it okay just checking just kidding <laughs> Um, and I guess just for the sake of being thorough, what if it worked like this? Still hate it. Alright, good. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> Gotta take risk every now and then, guys. I hate this. Boom, boom, boom. has actually got to be at this level right here. Yeah, that's how that's going to work. I don't really have any choice in that. I mean, I do, but none that I'm willing to take, at least. Which means I'm going to have to do something... A little more interesting up here on top of this. I'll figure that out. It'll be something mechanical looking, kind of sticking up. Hiding a little bit of the logic, even. No biggie. That'll all work out. Hmm. Got to figure out a little bit better what I want to do. These are docking, or not docking, but um, escape pod. Uh, well, yeah, docking. 
Docking was the word after all, I guess. But anyway, that's that's what that's for is for escape pods. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that red. I might have to replace that with brown. We'll see. Behind the escape pods, I don't know what I want to do with this stretch. Actually, I do. Uh, this is where some shield generators need to go. Uh, let me just see. This isn't going to be heavily shielded. It's not a combat vessel. Uh, but let me just see what I can figure out about shields. I have not really experimented with them much on Power 2.0. Um, see, shield recharges are effectively the core of it, though, right? So... drop that up. Might help if I actually selected shields. Boom. Well, look at that. That covers a pretty good sized chunk of the ship actually. Um, I'll need another shield recharge system probably in between these two bays. And that'll cover the front half of the ship. Keeping in mind that the um, those salvage tubes are going to be sticking farther out in the front. Yeah, okay, that's cool. How significantly does this change? Oh, yeah. Okay. I actually can't go much bigger than that if I'm going to put rechargers in there. That's, that's about the limit. Okay. Well, that's something. Now, I forget... There was some kind of... I'm going to have to look this up. Y'all bear with me. Some kind of rule, I guess, about how the capacitors relate to the rechargers. Let's see. I've got notes here. Somewhere. Okay. A group of shield rechargers creates shield range from the group center of mass. Yeah. Shield capacitors increase that shield's capacity. Uh, yeah, there actually wasn't a whole lot there. Alright, that's good. I don't need to worry too much about where the capacitors go, apparently. I don't know what those little markings are. Oh, it's showing me which uh, which recharge group it's linked to. Okay. That's pretty neat. This arrow that won't go away on the front of the ship, I hate that. But a lot of the other markings that they're doing, like this, uh, the yellow line here is going to be the center of mass for that recharge group. So I know where the center of the bubble is. That's handy. And then I know, in case there was any doubt, where these guys are linked to. That's, that's pretty cool. I approve. Alright, so I need need a good design for... For a shield... Call it a shield bank, I guess. That um, It's going to give me... That was about 28. Let's say about 30 shield rechargers. All in one group. Well, that right there is 27, actually. We'll roll with that, I think. Okay. 
a giant standing in my way, leading me astray. Now it's time for me to rise. I knew I had to find myself. Turns out I'm on my own. I won't let it go. Hmm. Yeah, this should definitely be armor rather than hull, though. For whatever, whatever effect or benefit that would give me, honestly. I mean, if your shields are down, so the armor actually matters. So it gives a little armor over the shields. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> Wait, was that dumb? Was that dumb? Maybe that wasn't dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, this could be cool. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I wanted this. Yeah, that's better. Sorry for the clicking noises, it's my headset misbehaving itself a little bit. Yeah, okay. We'll roll with that.
good. And that leaves that completely open because I really do think that's where I'm going to stick the uh, the other shield system. Close it that way. I always do like being able to see systems, but there's a time and a place, I guess. You gotta know when too much is too much. I like that, like it's, I think it works. I'm about to, about to do some stuff that I know I'm going to have to just rip out because I'm going to hate it, but anyway, there's no point in not trying. Makes it a little bit of a target though, doesn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I don't hate it. I like the idea that the shield recharger thing's got a little bit of a glow to it. Helpers, give me a circle. By rotation, you're going to be rotated 90 degrees. Uh, X rotation, I think, might be okay already. I can't remember how that works. So, position. Yeah, good. All right. Well, yeah, duh. I didn't need that. I don't even know what I'm thinking. All right, cool. Modular ship. Ah, dude, you are going to have to let me see that when you're done with it. I've been chasing the modular ship dream forever. It's definitely one of my fascinations. Thank you. 
I don't know why I'm building this in Hull. I know why I'm building this in Hull, because I'm an idiot. That's why. Just so we're all clear. Oh, jeez. Core contains the generators and the bridge. Rear section will contain engine and secondary shielding. Sounds good. Tell me more. <laughs> Let's see. Nose will mount primary weapons. Forward section primary shields, nose primary weapons. Each module docks the last one on the entire ship. Yeah. Uh, like I say, uh, it's something I've been chasing after for a while. Um, off and on, of course. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to see, uh, see your design. So I'll have a fleet of these with common segments. Yeah, that was like a huge focus in my YouTube channel uh, back before we all got distracted by the power update. Whoops. Uh, no. Um, and some will have specialized segments, it's also asymmetric, so yeah. Man, <laughs> you are speaking my language. And it reset the piece, of course it did. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what you come up with. Have I said that? I'm saying it again. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm glad somebody else out there is interested in this. Yeah. Doing individual segments, I found, is pretty time consuming. Like, you gotta figure out how to mesh all together, the control systems, so on and so forth. Okay, everything froze and then spazzed out. Each section of the ship is internal access, and so far the core segment has a bunk room, a captain's quarters, and a lounge, as well as two elevators. Yeah. See, let me get my yellow glass back, or, you know, crystal armor. I don't think I was done with it, actually.
Alright, so what do I have space for in here? Alright. Basically, if I get these. Three, three by three cube. Plug it in there. I think symmetry does the rest. And this is probably going to be a different color um, when all is said and done, but now that'll work. There's the big shield capacitor. Yeah, it'll do. Wait, that's empty space. Jeez, I thought the I thought the symmetry would do a better job of filling in than that. actually in the armor there all right so there's that same there yeah the gaps are just up in here So weird. All right, so the the crystal slab here stops you from seeing the charged circuit. Crystal slab here does not stop you from seeing anything. So that's great. It's always fun trying to figure stuff like that out. That's all right. All right, so that. Does stop you there. <laughs> All right, whatever. Good. All right. 
So now the uh, the shield capacitor is pretty well pretty well filled in. That works. I'm happy. Mostly. Fill this stuff. Alright, so the majority of the ship is covered just from that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in, not a lot, I don't think, but One, two, three, four, five. Should be a row of nine. a group of, does it say? Should be 18. Oh, no, it ran into something. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So, 43? What do you mean 43? Tell me she'll recharge her. Oh, 43 total. Awesome. Alright, well, I want to get to 54 then. I'm not going to do anything decorative for this, obviously. 53 is close enough to 54. I wanted them more or less equally sized, and that's pretty darn close. Alright. Now. Shouldn't have done it that way. Let's see. Yep. All right, I've got fifty nine shield capacitors. Capacity is going to be a little bit lower. A bit lower up here on the front, I guess. One oh seven. Eh, it's not much lower. That's cool. Alright, so I've got two roughly equal shield bubbles that should cover the entire ship. Uh, there might be a small hole, depending on how many of the, the salvage tubes, mining tubes, I'm able to actually attach. Might be a slight weakness right here that I'm not going to worry about. Um, this is definitely not a combat ready ship, but it's, I mean, it's a mining vessel. It's not supposed to be. I'm just going to kind of roll with this. From an RP perspective, it's going to look like this recharger generator system basically covers the whole ship. And we know that's not true, but we also know we don't really care that much, so it's all good. Uh, can you link? Um, try it. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, if if I got everything set up right, right. Finally, then it should let you. Last time somebody tried to link, we had all kinds of technical issues. Hey, it worked! Cool. Yay! 
Actually, I think you were you were one of the ones who was having issues last time. I'm gonna open that up right quick. Y'all pardon me while I get distracted from my own stream here. Honestly, it's about time I was winding this down anyway. Uh, that is a cool design. I am so looking forward to seeing this. Uh, do you, YouTube, do you post videos or anything? Like, I would be very interested in looking and seeing anything that you're going to put up about it. Just started playing Starway last week. <laughs> right on. Um, you're doing fine. <laughs> you're coming along quite well. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to see what you come up with. So please keep linking, keep sharing. <laughs> But yeah, as far as this stream goes, um, I have done part of what I said I was going to do. <laughs> I got this part of the, of the main structure kind of worked out, I think. Um, and then I didn't expect to be working on shields today, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with how that came out. Uh, so yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call all the stream over and done with for the evening. Let me just tweak something here. I always got to use more pipes. I'm a, I'm a pipe chunky is what I am. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, it's mirrored. with how this is working like uh, I think I think this is gonna be a very nice successor to my favorite ship that I've ever built I know I'm just kind of bragging on myself here but there's there's a lot of value guys in taking a ship that you built that you're really proud of and rebuilding it from scratch like uh, I feel like uh, this is definitely gonna be a better version so yeah. In any case, I'm I'm gonna wind down the stream. Um, I want to thank everybody who came out. Uh, it wasn't a huge crowd tonight, but I am I'm fine with that. I am happy that I picked up a new follower in Matt Exile. Y'all go check him out uh, if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, thank everybody for showing up, commenting, watching. And I hope everybody has a good evening. <laughs>